Namaste. In this video, we are going to find the integral of a function by using Rombach integration method. Okay. In Rombach integration method, h is divided into four sections. That means h, h by two, h by four, and h by eight. Okay. And this can be used by using Simpson one by three rule, Simpson three by eight rule, or Simpson Trapezoidal rule. Okay, in this portion we calculate I one, I two, I three, and I four. Where I one in I one, h is used in I two, h by two is used. Where I three, h by four is used, and where I four, h by eight is used. Similarly, we calculate I one new from this two part as I two plus I one by three. Sorry, one by three I two minus I one. Similarly. From this two, I two new is calculated. From this two, I three new is calculated. And from this two, this is calculated. From this two, this is calculated. new value is calculated from previous two old value. Okay. And lastly, this is our required integral part. So let us solve an example by using Rombach integration. So let us consider an integral as the limit from zero to eight x square dx. So let us consider first h equals to four. Okay, so that means by using trapezoidal rule, zero to eight x square dx is equals to h by two. Okay, f naught plus two f one plus f two. So it is equals to h is four by two. F naught means f zero. F zero is zero square is Zero plus two into f one means zero plus four is four, so f one is four, so four is square, and f two is eight. Yes, four plus four is eight, so it is eight square. That gives four by two. Two into four square is two into sixteen is thirty two. Thirty two plus sixty four. Okay, let us use the calculator so that we can easily calculate it. Two into Two into four square plus eight square. So it gives okay. Total value is hundred ninety-two. Okay. If you want it, it is ninety-six. Similarly, now we use. H equals to h by two. So that means four by two is two. So again zero to eight x square dx. Now we use composite trapezoidal rule. So f not plus. If it is two, then it goes from zero to two, two to four, four to six, and six to eight. So it goes from Zero to two, two to four, four to six, and six to eight. So f zero, f one, f two, f three, and f four. Yes. So f zero or f not and middle term are multiplied by two. Yes. F one plus f two plus f three plus f four. F n. That means so it is h is two. So Okay, new s is two. Okay, we can write it by two also. Yes, so it becomes two by two, and f not. So f not is zero square plus two into. Okay, f one is two square is four, four square is sixteen, and f three six square is thirty six, plus eight square. It gives sixty four. So let us add this value. Two into four plus sixteen plus thirty-six plus sixty-four. It gives hundred seventy-six. Yes. Now again, we use h equals to h by four. That is equals to four by four is one. So again. 
0 to 8 x square dx it becomes h by 2 okay that means h is new h is 1 okay so f naught plus so if 1 0 to 1 is yes, 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 there are 8 parts so 2 into f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus f5 plus f6 plus f7 plus f8 last one is fn so it is equals to 1 by 2 yes f naught is 0 plus 2 f1 1 square s yes. f1 is 1 square so 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 and 7 square is 49 plus 8 square is 64 so what will you get 2 into 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus okay after 25 plus 36 plus 49 plus 64 it gives 344 divided by 2 it is 172 okay similarly so we have used i1 i2 and i3 now for i4s yes, h equals to h by 8 we have to use h equals to 8 by 8 so it is 4 by 8 is 0 0.5 so we calculate it as x square dx is equals to h by 2 so when we divide 0 to 8 in by using 0 0.5 as h it goes up to f16 yes so f0 plus 2 f1 plus dot 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 plus f15 plus f16 yes so 0 0.5 divided by 2 and f0 is 0 yes so I will be using calculator so f0 is h is 0 0.5 divided by 2 into f0 is 0 so 2 2 into so first f1 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 square plus 1 square plus 1.5 square plus 2 square plus 2.5 square plus 3 square plus 3.5 square plus 4 square plus 4.5 square plus sorry 4.5 okay it is right. 4.5 square plus 5 square plus 5.5 square okay uh, I have joined up to five point okay up to five only now okay Okay, I have joined up to 5.5 5 square only so plus 5.5 square plus 6. Point, okay 6 okay sorry 6 square plus 6.5 square plus 7 square plus 7.5 square yes up to 15 it is it is multiplied by 2 yes and plus 8 square is 64 last one so divided by okay divided by 0 0.5 is when it goes down it becomes 2 into 2 4 so divided by 4 is equals to 100 okay calculated it 171 now we have to fill it in table 
cancel. Our table is H I H H by two, okay, H by four and H by eight. So our I one. What is the value of I one? It was one ninety two. I two was one seventy six. I three was one seventy two, and I four was one seventy one. Now we calculate here the new value. That is our formula for new value is okay. New value what? What is the formula? Yes, this one has the formula. So let us use it. Okay, um, alpha a alpha I cost. So I two I will be supposing at okay uh, x. I'll be supposing at x plus okay one by three bracket and I two s it is x. So alpha x minus I one I will be supposing at alpha. Y. Okay, calculate. So, what is the value of I two? One hundred seventy six. Okay, what is the value of I one? It is one ninety two. So, the value of A is here from this to one seventy by point six six. Similarly, so from this to S one seventy two and one seventy six. So it is also one seventy point six six. Okay, from this to one seventy one, one seventy two. So its value is also one hundred seventy point six six. Okay, now again from this to one seventy point six six. Again one seventy point six six. So it gives again one seventy point six six. So surely from this two it also gives one seventy point six six. Again from this two it gives one seventy point six six. So our required value of integral of zero to eight x squared dx is last one value. Yes. So it is zero to eight x squared. dx equals to 170.66 so this is the required value okay so this is the end of numerical integration and from next video i will be starting the differentiation okay partial differentiation thank you and bye bye